Pies, how we doing, how we feeling? Welcome to Vlogmas Day 10. It is Monday, the start of a new week. I hope everyone's doing well. Um, yeah, so it's like 3.30 in the afternoon, almost 4 o'clock, actually 3.42. Um, I'm actually following James to be exact. Okay, so you guys, you know, when it rains, it pours. And yeah, so anyway, uh, Bess is really ill right now, and we don't know at this point what's going to be our best thing to do. I'm leaving Avis rent a car because I just rented, we just rented a car for James to have to drive to work. Because of course, with me looking for a job, I can't really be without a car during the week. Um, so, yeah, so that's definitely, you know, something that we have to, to factor in. And on the weekends, I guess he'll be driving my car, which y'all don't think I'm really, it's really ugly of me to say this, but I have to be truthful. I'm not real comfortable with him driving my car because he's definitely not he's not a cautious person as far as like he, he doesn't take care of like material things not that I'm a materialistic person but y'all this car wasn't I mean this is a you know like you have to be careful what you're doing in it you can't just throw things in the seats it's you know I've got nice leather seats which I need to condition because I haven't done that in a while um but you know and he tends to like he'll waste coffee he just doesn't he be, uh, he sends no value to something like a vehicle uh, he just doesn't and so I initially had told him when I got my new car I did not want him driving it at all and you know when we take trips to like Houston and places like that I let him drive because I'm not comfortable with driving to Houston but at the same time I I'm in there with him and I'm constantly making sure that he's not doing certain things to the vehicle but unfortunately if nobody's in there with him, he's not going to be cautious. He's not going to be careful. He's just not. That's just, it's just his brain waves doesn't allow him to factor in things like that. Like he just doesn't. And, um, but yeah, so that's what's going on now. We have a sick vehicle that we got to figure out what to do with. Hey there, chicken pies. How we doing? How we feeling? It is pretty late in the evening it's about 11 30 and before I ended my vlog I wanted to come back on and just kind of chat with you all a little bit I actually just got home and um, yeah it's been I still have my headset in I guess I should probably take this thing out of my ears I just realize that um, yeah by the way I am going to do a review on these uh, on this headset I have actually truly enjoyed it and I probably should do this before Christmas because this might be a Christmas gift that you buy for someone it's not it's not cheap so um, I got mine on sale but I guess if it's not on sale you it's not cheap so but I think I will do a, um, a video on that one of my blogs will be on that but like I said I just got home and I wanted to just kind of chat with you guys a little bit I wanted to show you you all know how Ulta have the points that you can go in and um, when you're shopping and whatnot you collect points well throughout my birthday month, like I always try to shop when I can get double points because you know or three times the points or whatever like whatever they do like there's like certain times you can get two times the points and then some things there's three times the points and some things there's I don't know four I don't know they just give away points for you know and their points are really add up. get truly more for my money and Ulta as far as points and stuff. And then I end up with free stuff, which is what I have here. Um, I actually got to get some free stuff and I wanted to show you all this stuff because I'm excited about it. And one of them is something that I have on my lips right now. And you know what? I need to get my glasses because I will not be able to tell y'all what this is without my glasses. I'll be right back. Okay, so I made it back. Um, but yeah, so I ended up with quite a few points that I had accumulated. I guess through my birthday month, I got quite a few points. And then I have the, the card that whenever I use the card, I get more points. And so anyway, long story short, I want to share with you all what I was able to get with points tonight. And it made me so happy because, yeah, because I had 20% off, which allowed me to use towards that. And then with my points, I got this stuff for free. So truly awesome y'all truly awesome 
Um, so I'm gonna put my glasses on so that I can tell you guys what this is. Now, I am going to talk about this, but I know nothing about this. So this is not like a review or anything. This is literally a first impression. So I was walking through Ulta and I'm thinking like, uh, let me just, you know, I can, you can't go in Ulta without like looking at every stitch of makeup that they have. Like you just can't. I mean, you know, at least I can anyway. So I, you know, I literally started in one section and I just kind of worked my way through. I, I went to the Anastasia section, which because I love her lipsticks and I, you know, always want to look to see what they have. And I just literally wormed my way through back and forth through all the different lines, just looking to see, um, the other day I was like, I want a new blush because I feel like the blushes that, well, the blushes, I don't have blushes. I have a blush. Um, and I feel like the picture that I took in that, I felt like I needed a deeper, like something that had more of a red tone or like a deeper pink burgundy ish tone to it or something. And I thought I really need to find myself a good blush. And I thought, you know, Mac always has good bl blushes. I probably should just look for a Mac blush blush. <laughs> but, um, I was in there thinking you can buy a Mac online at Ulta, but not inside the store. So I was in there thinking, let's look at some of the other brands and see what they have to offer. Who knows? Maybe they'll have something that will work for me. We'll get to that in a minute. But as I'm looking, I get to the urban decay section and I'm just like, Ugh, you know, I, I really like a lot of Urban Decay products. I honestly do. And and today, like I said, I put on the Urban Decay All Nighter and that just, you know, it's like, oh my goodness, I really love this foundation. So that being said, I started literally like just looking at everything they had because I saw the section that it was like, where'd this come from? I saw an eyeshadow palette that I was like, I've never seen that one before. But of course, I've been trying to stay out of the stores and I, I've not watched any of the beauty makeup like get ready with me videos or like anything so that I'm not tempted to like go and buy myself like you know something I don't need um, you know how that goes so I've not been into it so I I didn't know I don't I still don't know I like I said this I have no idea what this is but I am going to Google it or YouTube it when I get off of this camera tonight because I definitely want to know more so that being said I found this in that section of all the stuff I had not seen before. And I was like, what is this? Like, I was like, I have no idea. So this is the, the case. I don't know, hopefully that's gonna come across. Like I said, the lighting situation in here. I have my ring light on. I've never seen this before. I don't know anything about it. It says L-O-F-I or F-L. I don't know if that's, well, I guess it's all, it should be F-I, I guess. And it says lip mousse. And then it says modern modern matte finish. What is this stuff, y'all? Somebody tell me. The colors amplify. And it's kind of like a burgundy. Well, not a burgundy. It's kind of like a rosy-ish color. It's what I have on right now. Now, I will say I do have on the Berry Lip Liner from MAC. Let's try this like literally before I started the video because I wanted to see it, how well this matched because I was like, I like this. I just would need it with a little bit of a lip liner because I like to draw in that little dip that is in the center of your lip, your upper lip. I don't like the the look where it's, the, you know, it kind of goes in like a little heart shape. I like mine to be more even, like straight across because I feel like it gives me a, a good little pout because um, I don't have very big lips and I like to enlarge my lips the best way I can. But this is what it looks like, y'all. I hope that is coming across. Very berry, like literally very, very berry. Berry, very, very berry. That sounds so funny. But um, there was a color that I used to wear from Estee Lauder that I actually still have it. Um, it just is probably like so old I can't use it. But I love that color and I wore it to death. Um, and when I saw this, I was like, oh my gosh, that's so pretty. And I was like, what is it? Because I was like, it sits for your lips and it's a lip mousse. What's a lip mousse? I don't know. Like I said, I haven't been in the stores or I haven't been on YouTube, at least not in that department. So whatever this is, y'all, I don't know what it is. It is literally weightless, like it says. And 
it says waterproof, which I don't know about that, but I will tell you this, it's got some staying power to it. It kind of reminds me of the matte liquid lipsticks without being quite as matte. Like it's, it's not that, this looks like if you put on like a lip gloss and it's stained and it just stayed there. Like you, like, you know what it is? Like if you had a cherry popsicle and you were sucking on the popsicle and it stained your lips, and so you have like this berry color lips. That's what this is. I don't know how well it's coming across in the camera. I don't know. I almost want to feel like it, it may be coming across more red, but it's very berry. Like it's a very berry color. This lip liner is like perfect with it. And this is something I've had in my collection. I didn't go out and buy this tonight, so I'm not spending money. But um, yeah, these two are like, I, oh look, I didn't even realize that it has a little lip applicator. But um, y'all, this is it right here. And it's so funny because I've been wanting to find something other than matte liquid matte lipsticks because I'm so into those things. And I, when I get in my room in there in the next few days, I'm probably going to have to just get rid of a lot of lipsticks because they're going bad and I'm not wearing them. And I, I keep telling myself, I, I need to like try to stray away from them. But I love the staying power of a liquid matte lipstick so anyway I found this today tonight at Ulta and I was able to get it with if I used my 20% off and I also use my points I got it for free so that is that's just amazing to me I just can't figure out what it what it <laughs> what it what it I just can't figure out what it's actually called lofi is that like you know y'all y'all is that a hip like language or something that I don't know but anyway this is the bomb. Whatever it is, I like it. Like I said, I'm going to YouTube this because I definitely want to know more about it. And I would love to have, see, here I go. This is what happens. You get one color and you want all of them. And I really didn't look at very many of the colors. I saw this color and just went insanely happy. I was just like, I want this in my life. <laughs> and I have points and I can get it. So yeah. So anyway, that was a, that was definitely a steal. It was I think price point at $22, I believe, is the actual price of the item. But like I said, I didn't have to pay anything for it. And then I still had some points left over and I was like, you guys know that I am obsessed with the CoverGirl, what is it, Sun, whatever it is, that highlighter situation thing that I'm just like right now, I'm so in love with it and I, I, I have it in my cart. <laughs> with um amazon and i have you know it's like i can't get it because i can't pay twenty dollars for it when i know that it costs probably like five bucks like i just can't do it and of course i can't do it right now anyway either because the finances are not there so but i want it and i i love it and so i'm like looking tonight and i was headed over in that section where you know the you're walking into the store, it's the left-hand side of the store where they have all the drugstore items at. And I thought, you know, I'm gonna walk over there to look to see if I see it. As I'm walking over there, I see this brand and I don't, I guess it's called, I don't know what this brand is actually called. This is, says The Warrior by Javias. So is the brand called Javias? Again, y'all, girl has not been in, you know, I haven't been in the YouTube makeup world. So I've seen these in some of the videos and I've heard people talking about them. I just don't remember how you define the name of it. Is, the, is this like the name? I don't know. But I will tell y'all, as I was walking over there, I saw, okay, this is going to require some. I saw this brand and I saw like several things in the brand and I was like, wow, this looks really interesting. And I've seen it online because I have looked at this online and I actually have put, I had put an eyeshadow palette in my cart one time online. I think the last time they did the 20% off before I lost my job, I had a couple of the things from this line in my basket or my cart, whatever. And I was kind of like, man, I would love to try this brand because it just, it's inexpensive and it looks great and it got great reviews. So what I saw as I was approaching it was some highlighters and like a little round like tube that remind me of the CoverGirl one and one of the colors 
looked exactly like it, but that one was sold out. So I was like, oh, and I was like, man, I would love to have that. Or at least I think I would because it did look like one that I would absolutely love. And then I saw this and this was the last one that they had, but they had, of course, the, the sample one open so that you could stick your fingers in it and play with it and all that stuff. And this obviously is a highlighter contour situation. So it says the Amazon. So I'm guessing that this is called the Amazons. Inspired by the ferocious and cap decapitating beauty of the Dehomini Amazons of Africa. A true embodiment of strength, fierceness, and beauty. The Warrior palette consists of nine highly pigmented shades. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm reading and thinking all at the same time. It's a cruelty-free product distributed by, Juva, Ju, I guess, Juva, Juvia's place. So I guess that is what it is. Wait. <gasps> okay, this, they call this an eyeshadow palette. I would not have called this an eyeshadow palette. I'm calling this a highlighter. Okay, y'all. <laughs> I don't know, but I, I I got it because I was thinking it was a, um, a highlighter palette. But when I'm reading the back of it, it's, it, it called it an eyeshadow palette. But then when you look at the models on the front, like, doesn't it look like a highlighting situation? Or is that just my imagination? Okay, so let's open it up. And we're going to look at the colors. Oops, oops. So we're going to look at the colors. There we go. I seriously would not have called this a eyeshadow palette. However, that being said, I don't know. But I like it. And I'm going to use it for highlighting. I, I do believe. Um, I'm like, now I'm all like, I'm so weird, like why would I even care? Like if it works for me, however it works for me, use it. But I felt like there were a couple colors in here that reminded me of the highlighter that I like so much from CoverGirl. And I thought, well, maybe I could just have this and I can have different kind of highlights for, you know, different circumstances. Y'all, yeah, I'm, I'm getting concerned here. Like. Yeah, see, I'm so gonna use this for highlight. Like, I am so gonna use this for highlight. Okay, let's let's try to highlight my nose bone. I said my nose bone, the tip of my nose. What does that look like? Oh, it doesn't have a mirror. I'm all like, <laughs> and there's no mirror. But I, I don't know yet. What do y'all think? Comment below and tell me, can I use this as a highlight? When I saw this dark color, in fact, I thought, oh my gosh, that's for contouring. And I, I saw these two as for contouring and like maybe this is for contouring. But I was like, these are for women, you know, more deeper skin tones. And this one's going to be for a lighter skin tone. That this brown is beautiful. Like it is so pretty. But I was thinking in terms of how to darken, you know, like the outer layers of my face or whatever. Like, you know, something to kind of go around here. Like, I don't know how to contour at all, y'all. I'm going to be straight up honest with y'all. I have no idea how to contour. But, yeah, so, I don't know, y'all. Tell me, can I use this as a highlighting situation, contouring, whatever, and even on my eyes? Like, I might, would, I would love to, like, put this on my eyes also. But I really kind of like this for highlighting. Can I do it? Can I pull this off? Someone tell me. Comment below. Because to me, this looks like they're saying, use this for highlighting. I think that's what it's for. Like, well, I think you can use it for either or. I don't know. But anyway, that's what I got using my Sephora, not Sephora, oh my God. That's what I got using my Ulta Points. So I'm super excited. I love this lip, y'all. I'm loving this lip. And did I put some, actually, I think, Look at that highlighting situation I got going on. Y'all know, I keep using the word situation. I'm liking that word for some reason. I don't know why. Let me get a sip of coffee. I also stopped at Bucky's. I picked up myself some coffee. I almost might be a little bit wired right now. 
I find that I'm getting this energy at night for some reason lately and like right now I'm wide awake but um, yeah so anyway it, I, coffee sometimes will give me a buzz for about a good 30 minutes to an hour and then it goes away but even still if I sit still long enough I fall asleep so it's one of those fake buzzes so that's what I got going on y'all I'm liking this anyway I, I'm sorry but this is really bothering me because I'm like but I'm not it's not it's not it's not it's not, it's not. but it is it's gonna be anyway but yeah, so anyway, I think that one that was sold out, I want to see how, I didn't even look at the, see how the price it is, but I do want to go back in there and try to find that like later on. Um, and cause I'd like to have that loose little highlighter thing because it just looks so much like the one that I want. So I want to go back and look at it. I actually want to compare the two. So I might have to, Ooh, did I break my glasses? I might have to go back in there and look at it. This brand seems very interesting, y'all. And I really, really like some of the colors. Like, I really do. But I wanted to talk to you all about a blush. So I did see one by Clinique, and I am going to put it on my Santa's wish list. Like, I don't know. <laughs> but it'll be after Christmas. But anyway, um, it's going to be on my wish list um, that I'm going to get this. And it's called Color, no, Cola. Cola, like Coca-Cola, Cola Pop by Clinique. This blush, I don't know if you guys can see it. I already had a little bit of blush on the side of my face, so like seriously, it might not be the true color, but I, and I only did it with my fingers, so it's like not trying to demonstrate anything fancy here. I like literally like stuck my finger in the sample, and I went, Doo -doo 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 -doo. actually I used this finger, Doo -doo 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 -doo. and I came up with this look. And I absolutely love it. It is a deep enough color that it I can see it. I feel like it gives me some um, uh, and it looks good with berry. Like to me, like look at that. I think it looks very good with berry. I had never been a blush girl before until recently, so I do want a berry-ish type of a blush that will look good with the reds. And will look good with berries and I think this this situation right here I got going on is pretty like I like I like I like I like I love that highlighter look at that highlighter gone stuff girl gone stuff but anyway it's getting late the camera's ticking so time is of essence for all of you I know so I don't want to hold you down too much tonight I just needed to share those things with you all because I got really excited about this thing and then I got really excited about this because I got free items. Like I'm telling y'all, Ulta is where it's at when it comes to points. You can get stuff for free. <laughs> Good stuff. I mean, because the points is money and you know, like you can totally pick what you want. Not excited about what I got. So anyway, that is that. But you're probably wondering, okay girl, you looking a little bit like something or another here. Uh, like maybe the Cowboys. Yes, this is my uh, Cowboys, <laughs> if you will workout sweatsuit whatever you want to call it the scarf is just actually a scarf that i've had here forever it's actually a man's scarf but i need i wanted a scarf tonight because i i figured i would be cold because the temperature drops down really low in the evenings and i was going out in the evening so i grabbed this to toss it around my neck this is just a converse t-shirt that i have on the knee it is a long sleeve one this t-shirt is like all but 50 years old I'm telling y'all it's very old don't ask me any questions I don't even know where I got it from but this little baby right here is a Cowboys zip up jacket and I got this from Victoria's Secret and it is from the pink line I'm gonna turn around so you guys can see it uh, I've had this for a few years now and so like I I mean I won't say you can't get it but I don't know if you can or not because I literally have had this for probably about four years and then let me so these are my sweatpants and as you can see there's a little is that a dog is that what it is I think that's what it is but I'm not really into the whole like Victoria's Secret pink like I don't know all the if ands and buts about it but I had seen these and I got this little outfit like a few years back and I really really like it now my sweat bottoms look a little bit baggy because they are a little bit baggy, which I am excited about. But I love this little outfit. This is what I, I wore to work out in today. Um, I've been in it all day. So, yeah, it is what it is, people. <laughs>
But yeah, so I just kind of wanted to show you guys what I had on today. I didn't do anything spectacular. My hair has been up because when I went to the gym and worked out, this is, this is how I ended up, you know, like all day. I went out tonight looking just like this. So yeah, I did throw on a little bit of makeup. I'm one of those people, yes, I go to the gym, I wear makeup. It is what it is. Anywho, I am going to sign off for now. I will see you guys in tomorrow's vlog. Make sure you comment, rate, and subscribe. Feel free to share these videos with anybody you might want to share them with. You know, I don't know. Make my name live. Thumbs up this video, and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's vlog. Happy Vlogmas, everybody. Happy Vlogmas.